So Netflix's content libraries differ based on your geographical location. If you access this streaming service from the US, you'll get the Netflix US library. In the UK, you'll get the Netflix UK. Now, regional restrictions are frustrating if you want to watch a movie, TV show, or documentary unavailable in your country, and the solution here is to use a VPN. Now, a good virtual private network lets you spoof your location on unblocked content from another country, which is exactly where NordVPN comes in. So NordVPN is awesome for a few different reasons. The first being that the server selection is huge. You've got over 5,000 servers across 60 plus different countries. So wherever you're trying to connect to, your location will most likely be available on Nord. Then you've got some awesome built-in features like military-grade encryption, a strict no-logs policy, split tunneling, multi-factor authentication, and you can use one account across multiple devices simultaneously, which is actually pretty useful because I've used Nord on two devices at once, so it comes up comes pretty handy. Now, while I'm just touching the surface on Nord, I'm going to show you how it actually works in a second. But I do need to point out that this is a paid VPN service. Now, it does cost around $11 a month. But in my opinion, the cost for using a service like this should be overlooked because it's impossible to put a price on having more privacy and security for yourself on whatever you're trying to do. Now, using a VPN in today's world is just becoming a must. And that's the bottom line. Of course, if you guys wanted to get started here and learn more about Nord, I will have some bonus and resource links in the description. Next, let's go over how to connect. Now, one of the best things about Nord is the built-in map feature. The layout also looks the same whether you're on your PC, iOS, or Android. Now, you can connect simply by tapping on the blue dots in different regions or countries. I'm using Canada as an example. Now you can also browse for different locations in the top left hand corner. You could do cities within different countries. Just be aware that when you connect to a country, it's gonna pull up the fastest server available. But if you wanted to browse by different cities, you could also do that. Now I'm also gonna to connect to one more area. We'll go with Europe here and we'll click on, I don't know, let's go with Hungary if I can find it. The other thing you're gonna notice is that these connection speeds are extremely fast. And when you connect, it stays connected. And that's one of the biggest benefits as well to using a paid VPN, as opposed to a free VPN, it actually works. So you don't have to worry about it disconnecting at any given time, it will just stay connected for you. Okay, let's uh, browse over here, I'm gonna look for Hungary. All right, yeah, you can see it connected literally within, you know, probably less than a second. Okay, so bottom line, if you're looking for the best VPN use for Netflix on your iPhone, it doesn't get any better than NordVPN. Now, the app is super user-friendly for iOS users. You've got over 5,000 servers across so many different countries, so accessing content in any Netflix region is going to be super easy to do. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching it, and we'll see you all in the next VPN video.